but it does multiple different things. Lights up. Oh, look at that. Can you pop that open? You got a vintage Han in there. Look at that. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and holy cow, do I have a jazz worthy treat for you guys today. So about a month ago, I was at Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's, and I ran into a channel subscriber and we got to talk in and he told me that he had a toy museum filled with vintage like 70s 80s and 90s toys so i asked him i said would you mind if i came by and filmed and he said no absolutely i would love it so i headed over to haltom city and this guy's collection is the biggest toy collection i've ever personally experienced like you know i've seen some videos and stuff on YouTube and whatnot, but as far as me personally looking at someone else's collection, this thing was massive. Like he had so much stuff. I was just like drooling. I was drooling at the mouth and all the amazing vintage toys that he had. So I filmed this whole episode for you guys. Well, I did it for me too, because like, you know, I got a lot of joy out of it. My jazz was running high in this episode, but I did it for you guys because I know how much you enjoy uh, seeing vintage toys and some of you have asked to you know for me to go out and film like vintage toy stores and flea markets and stuff like that but I thought man how about if we actually get somebody who has amassed a an amazing collection and most of this stuff was found at either flea markets thrift stores or like Facebook marketplace and as you'll see in the video Chaz said that uh, everything in the room he paid a fraction of the price of what you would pay for it like at a vintage toy store or on eBay um, because most of the stuff was found in those um, in those different uh, stores like the you know thrift stores and flea markets and stuff like that so anyway I don't want to waste any more time check this out leave comments below as you're watching if you're like oh my god that's amazing or I had that as a kid or oh my god I need to add that to my collection comment below and let me know so anyway check it out doing good man how are you doing <laughs> I'm excited for this. <laughs> I you're gonna dig it. Welcome to our venue. <laughs> yeah, this is your place, huh? Yeah. So cool. This is two stages. So this is our side stage. We do a lot of punk shows and hip hop shows. Oh, okay. And, uh, grindcore shows in here. Uh, it's got a stage over there. Uh, occupancy of 250. So this one. Gets oh wow. Ready. So this this whole place, right? This whole thing is just filled with people. Filled with people. Yeah. Wow. I got a free play arcade. Everybody can play free, free games. Oh, mind if I yeah, take a close look at that? Oh, check these out. So these are all free to play? Yes. Wow. Oh my God, I used to play this game all the time, dude. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. But if you notice the front, they have different games. So if you hold the one player for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, you can love the different games. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, how many, how, how many, how many games does it hold? Uh, each of them have about three or four. So that's like three Street Fighters. That's the three Mortal Kombat. Oh, wow. Uh, a couple Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus. Dude, like, <laughs> I could like hang out here all day. <laughs> oh, man, you got Rampage, too? Yeah, that's, that's the fun one. <laughs> oh, man. This is the first bar area. Oh, the movie posters are cool too. I'm gonna have to yeah, get those. Those are the movie posters of the movies that played here when it was originally a movie theater. No right? way. Yeah, yeah, it opened in 41. How long have you owned this place? Uh, we've had it for about five and a half years now. We've been open four and a half years. Wow. Yeah. Sorry about the little bit of mess. We had a rummage sale here last night. Oh, wow. Vintage clothes and Vintage, oh, so you uh, do stuff like that here too everything. as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's what, our uh, stage. So you would have the band names on the backdrop and uh, our whatever we were doing. Uh, like last night, it was just uh, the poster for the event back there. Wow. Uh, you have, you know, bands, DJs. Uh, since 2020, I think we've hosted more shows than any other venue in the Metro. Really? Yes. And then uh, projector room up there where it shoots the, uh, the image onto the, the big screen over 
So do you, is it like an image, uh, do you have cameras on the band and then the band is portrayed no, up on the screen? No, it's their logos back. Oh, it's just like their logos? Yeah, okay. so instead of having them have to bring like little vinyl backdrops or something, we have their logos really cleanly behind them. Yeah. And the same with that front stage. Oh, very cool. And then there's a bar back here. Main second bar back there. And how often, do, like, do you, every weekend or is it throughout we, the week uh, we as well? We run Thursday through Sunday and, and sometimes we do some events uh, Monday through Wednesday, like last night. And uh, then we got a TCU rave industrial dance night uh, thing tomorrow. Uh, oh, really? And yeah, so we should have about three. Plus to you have raves days. here too and stuff. We do raves, we do hip hop shows, we do death metal shows, we do grindcore shows, we do okay. R&B, we do- So you do it all. Wrestling. Live professional wrestling. No right. way, yeah, we really? Put right <laughs> you put the ring right in the, yeah. really? <laughs> it's actually televised uh, on the Title Match Network. We have uh, one of the larger monthly uh, independent wrestling shows in the state of Texas. Really? Yeah. And when do you normally Last hold that? Last Friday of every month. Last, I'm, dude, I'm going to have to come check that out. To, yeah, that'll, that'll be on me if you yeah. come out. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. Uh, yeah, take a look at this picture right here. I'm there. These are all bands, pictures of bands that have played the place. This is photos of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so how did you... Yeah, how did you put this together? Uh, we actually, uh, uh, a photographer friend who shoots here and he also promotes shows, uh, his name's David Parada. He's one of the premier uh, event photographers, uh, band photographers in town. He shot that wow. and made that for me. And, that uh, is badass, dude. Yeah, yeah, what an artist. Yeah, he's amazing. And, and like I said, he books book shows under uh, Heavyweight Cartel and that dude is, he's on it. One of the best photographers, promoters. Yeah, ever. like, I mean, this almost looks like I mean, they're the photos, but you can see that he like oh, he's turned artist. turned them into art. Yeah, <laughs> that is yeah, so let's, cool. Uh, let's go to my office and we'll show you this toy collection. Oh, fantastic! We do have to walk to the side of the building, but that's okay. Oh, and on the front here we have a digital billboard that has all the concert posters of upcoming events, so you see like oh. all the local bands and local artists that was last night that oh, the was vintage that night show. game okay uh and then uh but it just shows all the different shows yeah <laughs> got the kitchen <laughs> all right the star wars collection is mine but he curated it for some me. of the collection is yours yeah, okay. Star Wars is mine. Oh, the Star Wars is yours. That's right. You guys told me that yeah. at the store that day. <laughs> yeah. Right, you ready for he's, he's yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, my God, dude. Check this out. So this is just the stairway, but uh, yeah. we try to, you know, make every square inch work. Wow. Especially if you're, you know, trying to put something together like this. Uh, square footage is, is important. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And Mrs. Chaz, what is your name? Danielle. Danielle, okay. <laughs> but I'm okay with calling Miss Chaz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But most of the electronics work. Uh, I don't buy something unless it works. Like, so yeah, if you see. It's right behind you. Uh, well. Danielle, go ahead and oh, uh, yeah. click that, uh, that Stormtrooper helmet. That little thing that's dangles. So everything kind of works. Make some noise and... All the same as that we have in our electronics to turn on. That's cool. Yes. So cool. Oh, look at this. This is nice. I like the way that's like kind of three dimensional, the way it yeah, kind of pops off neat. like yeah, that. I, I like that too. Oh, look at that Boba Fett bag. Isn't that neat? Oh, man. Where'd you find that at? Man, we, we thrift a lot. We got <laughs> yeah, we Actually, right underneath of that, <laughs> there's, everything. <laughs> there's pop-up books right there on that stair, too. Those are vintage pop-up books from, like, 77. And Where are those at? Right? Is this, is this yeah, a, that's a pop-up book? Yeah, yeah. Pop vintage Can you pop -up open that up? Of course. Oh, wow, that is vintage. Is oh, no way. Yeah, and then there's a You found that in a thrift store? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right underneath that Boba Fett bag. There's another pop-up book that's older than that one. Really? Like they all do stuff. Oh, that is so awesome. Daniel, show them underneath that Boba Fett bag. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, they're cool. But there's an yeah. older one than that. <laughs> is that that one right here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's that's take actually a... from the first movie. That let's... one that you see there is Empire Strikes Back. Let's take a look This one's from A New Hope, or back then it was just Star Wars. You know? Right. That's how I always, I just, just still always right. call it Star Wars, but everybody now is a new hope, you know? 
Wow. And so, yeah, like we, we always try to find unique items because once you have all the, the, the figures, you start collecting well, everything right. else, like shampoo bottles. And, right, all the merchandising the weird and stuff. stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The Jawa's little the sand thing. crawler. Yeah. Is that what that, yeah, the sand crawler. That's yeah. right. That's so it don't work right. So, <laughs> that's like okay. I said, it is so very seven, old. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> oh, wow. And you got the Millennium Falcon over there. Yeah, don't, don't rip it. <laughs> wow, that is super cool, though. Yeah, go ahead and put that back, Daniel. We got a lot more stuff to come. Oh, yeah. A lot. <laughs> Both are on the book. Yeah, we got some cool stuff. There's uh, a whole bunch of, uh, like I said, if the electronics we have. Like this. Yeah, that's neat. So these, if we have it, it pretty much works. You know? okay. So if I hit this saber, it should turn on. Or if I hit the dark saber, it should turn on. Oh, nice. So we, and is this vintage here as well? No, that's just a wooden plaque. It's just, found. okay. Uh, we do have some vintage stuff uh, that you'll see here momentarily. Uh, but we have, like, on this side, you have the Taco Bell. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's the best there. scene when she oh gets to the top. <laughs> but these are, like, Taco Bell Burger King toys. I love this outfit. These are very steep. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't want to fall down and go boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this poster. Yeah. We have a friend that's Oh, and you got a this. comic book, too? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we framed that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look behind you, there's a big gap right here, right? Where? Right. This section oh, yeah. over here to the right. We're going to get a big U-wing that's 6 foot by 11 foot that's going to hang right there. It's carved. Really? It was a display uh, piece. Wow. So we just had to make a whole bunch of room, and we're about to put that. Now, I got to ask, like, how did you get those Funkos over there? Did you put a ladder <laughs> on the staircase? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. He put a ladder there. He's, yep. uh, he's kind of a uh, daredevil. Yeah, yeah. yeah that. that's so, brave. <laughs> yeah. My dad's an electrician, so he's, okay. he's used to being on heights uh, and at dangerous things like that. So it was, See, I have a so fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, dude. So those are, are these the skeleton, skeleton warriors? warriors? Yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, wow. <laughs> The Pirates of Dark Water are next to them. And oh my god, I actually yeah. saw this ship on your channel and I decided I didn't have the wraith, so this is the Fisher Price, but I needed something to display my oh, figures on. Oh, dude, it works perfect. It, it works perfect, yeah. So I was like, oh man, you kept oh, having man. that ship show up I've over never, and over again. I've never seen Pirates of Dark Water figures in person. Yeah, That's yeah, they're awesome. really cool. Set sail for adventure, the Pirates of Dark Water. Now, board the race with Ren and his stallion crew as they search for the treasures of rule. But beware. The treasure's no good to a dead man. Bloth and his wicked pirates are on the attack, so the race is armed for battle with a boulder hurling catapult. It's a deck Kong. A power blast harpoon and a mainsail glider. You're sunk, Bloth. The Pirates of Dark Water is so separately. Really cool. Wow, guys, this is so awesome. Oh my god, this thing is <laughs> so much in here. <laughs> these are hook figures. Oh, look at these. So those are is that the Dustin Hoffman movie is. hook? It wow. With, uh, 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 I didn't even know they made those. Yeah, those are the hook figures, and I put a VHS. Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. Rufio. Yeah, Rufio. <laughs> yeah. And then underneath of that is the Robotech Exo Squad figures. Oh yeah, I actually um, I only have three Exo Squad figures. I found all of them in a thrift store. I found them in a thrift store. <laughs> did you really? You did. Yeah. Did you find the figures as well? Yes, they were in there. No uh, way. Yeah, and you know how much I paid for each of these? It'll it'll freak you. Okay, out. It'd be thrift store three three <laughs> bucks each. Two fifty. Two fifty. Oh my all god. Even the big ones. I wow. Like, yeah. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Epic. Oh, you got a side war back there too. Yeah. yeah. Dude, where like, which thrift store did you did you find them all in the same thrift store or yes. were, really they were just two fifty a piece? Yeah, and they were all together in a bin. Wow. Yeah, shot. Now what's this guy down here? Now those are just uh, just a mummy that I found that I thought was cool. His eye pops out. I like and that. I put them with some Nightmare Before Christmas vintage yeah. figures and some vintage. I like this watch too. Yeah, that's actually a little video Nintendo game watch. watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, a game watch, one of the old ones. Actually, I saw this. I've almost bought this a couple of times. I, I 
think I probably got it because we went out. Uh, we saw one of your videos, uh, some Star Wars shit, and mm. I was like, man, I need to get that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, there's some swamp thing over there. Oh yeah, I found these. Uh, my, I have a friend named Keith. He actually lives on this side of town, mm -hmm. and we were at. Well, let me back up. He was at Texas Thrift, and somebody had dumped their entire like '90s collection. It was mainly toy biz stuff, mm -hmm. but um, I got all of these. Oh, wow. But dude, there was um, there was over 400 figures. That's bad. I paid $200 for like everything, and uh, I ended up selling half of it for 200 bucks. So I got my money back, and then I wow. kept the other half of it myself. Man, that's these that's, are cool figures. Those though. are the days you live for. Man. I know, right? And those are Bucky Bucky O'Hare figures. Yeah, I just started getting into Bucky O'Hare. I grabbed a couple of figures at uh, Retro Expo. Yeah, they're cool. I'm, I'm missing some stuff, uh, some of the accessories. You got the vehicles like the Air here. Marshal doesn't have his hat and gun. And I would like to get the lunchbox and the uh, NES game to mount up. Yeah. Oh, you got some Sting figures. You're yeah, a Sting this, fan? I do like Sting. If you look at all the wrestling stuff, that's all signed stuff and replica belts. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah so that's signed by Sting. That's signed by uh, the Brain Busters. That's signed by Kevin Von Erich and Larry Zabisco and J.J. Wow. Dillon and Barry Wyndham. Did you find those at a thrift store too? No, no, okay. no, 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 not the autographs. No, no. We like... also do Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, we do oh, Facebook Oh, you do? Marketplace. Okay. Yeah, do yeah Facebook... I've done a few of that. We, we've actually we do, got uh, a lot of Star Wars lots. Mm -hmm. Oh, from, from... pretty cheap? Uh, yeah. 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 We, we buy a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah. then if we don't need it, we get rid of the stuff we don't need, but we yeah. keep the stuff that we do. None of the stuff I've R ever paid full price for. It's always oh, wow. like a fraction yeah. of what That's it's cool. But yeah, Centurion's and, there. Oh, yeah. I have two Centurions. Cool. I have one complete and uh, Ace McCloud, nice. and I, I, I found him in a thrift store. That's wicked. And then I found his pieces at an estate sale and was able to make a complete one out That's of it. That's the best. Um, what are these guys Monster here? Monster in my pocket. Oh, wow. I haven't seen those in person either. Yeah. And then if you look right underneath of those, it's Toxic Crusaders. Oh, and Captain yeah. Captain Planet over there to the left. That's where I'm going to put all oh, my Captain yeah. stuff. What is this? I saw this in a thrift store that one time. That is just a display that I'm using for a backdrop. Okay. Like it, I said, you know, some of the stuff you just have to make it look cool around, like the, the Fisher Price pirate ship. Or, right. Or this, you know, or this helmet right here I found and then I put Toxic Crusaders stickers on. Oh, so, that's cool. You know, kind of. And oh, you even VHS. have the VHS. Yeah. Wow. So you, I didn't even know they made that. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then. Uh, so it's all about getting the little complimentary pieces around it. Dude, your collection is sick so far. And all we've looked at is the staircase and these two tables. <laughs> black star right here. And I don't have oh, wow. the castle, but I use the black, uh, or the bat cave from Funko uh, Savage Warriors. Yeah. Savage. Savage. Uh, uh, it is a uh, um, uh, stone, not stone age. Uh, I have I have the same thing. I have the same. It's a Funko Pop Batman. Like they're supposed to look like He-Man figures. Yes, right, exactly. Yeah. But I thought they displayed really well with yeah, the Black Star figures. They do. I actually I have this guy. Yeah, there's Tonga and Neptul and Gargo and John Blackstar and yeah, there's cool yeah. things. Yeah. No, who's this guy? Do you remember? Uh, man, I don't remember his name, but he comes with that little knight and. They all have the little sparker thing, or if you spark the back of them, their their faces light up. Oh, through. yeah. So there's two of them, and the reason why there's two is because this one has the sparker on his chest, right? And okay. then they, the original ones didn't have them. Oh, okay. So they re-released them in the second line with the sparkers. Didn't these kind of end up becoming like a child hazard or something like that? Where kids all, like the, that? all those sparker <laughs> toys, they pulled them. Like, right. Uh, Robocop figures had them. There's a bunch. But then here's the Dick Tracy Oh, uh, well, is this a playset for Dick, Dick Tracy? No, no, no. Okay. This playset is for Police Academy. Ah, uh, is this and Police Academy? And that's Police Academy down here, but they display really good together because you got the gel cell. and yeah. So I just put Police Academy and, and Dick Tracy together. I feel like this is such an underrated line of it, toys. It, it, it really like, is. I have these guys, and I love them. Well, you can pick them up cheap, too. They're like 5 to 10 bucks I each. I know, I mean, right? It's it's so a, if, especially if you want to get into collecting vintage toys, mm -hmm. it's a great place to start for cheap. Oh, you've got Beetlejuice, yeah, too. Yeah, that's the Kenner Beetlejuice. I'm missing one. It's the uh, the hog figure. I don't have him, but okay. I have all the other ones. Dude, I got a sad story about this. Oh, what happened? So at Christmas time, mm -hmm. I ordered. It was a Beetlejuice. It was um, it was like a bed that was like a grave, 
and it had a little tiny Beetlejuice that you could slide the bed back right here. Oh, oh yeah, this thing right That's here. The, uh, vanishing ball. Oh yes, I didn't even see it. The I so, said so I ordered I won it on an auction on eBay for seventeen dollars. Uh -huh. Oh man. And it was like five dollars shipping, right? So I was gonna get it for a little over twenty bucks. And UPS lost it. Oh. And I got this like thing in the mail that said, sorry, we lost your package. You know, you can file a claim. I was so bummed because I got it so cheap, you know, but I'm hoping, kind of hoping secretly it shows up one day. That would be, that would be a, a miracle. Right? I know. <laughs> exactly. A miracle, right? Yeah, I have a lot of the. I don't have these guys here, though. I don't yeah. have him either. He's pretty cool. He turns into a vulture, and the one in front of him turns into a rat. Oh, wow. And they turn into things. So, like little transformer yeah, types. Yeah, like one of them was a hog figure. That's the one I'm missing. I uh, love the police academy. Yeah, they're so cool. I don't they're have so any cool. of those either. And then up here is some more belts and autographs. And I'm big in the TV trays. Like, I like the TV oh, trays. Yeah. And I just hang them by the, the, their legs. So, I mean, they're there. If you take them off, you can still fold them out. Oh, nice. And then you the, the wrestling you know, magazine. The, these are the vintage wrestling Oh, figures. wow, dude. Oh, you got, got a WWF ring over here, too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And they got the little uh, hologram cards in there where uh, they moved. Oh, they came with the Hasbro yeah. figures. And then, so those are the WWF Hasbros. Wow. How long have you been collecting? My whole life. Your whole life? Yeah. Like your whole adult life or even as a kid you well, were like collecting? I'd say a quarter of this is my childhood collection. Okay. My parents were just so great to me. And then 75% uh, of it, I just picked it up along the way. Yeah. What I thought was cool when I was younger, I still think is cool now. So right. Really That's kind of how I am too. Those are the LJNs. Oh, now. dude. I we love my started, LJNs. We've only started my Star Wars collection uh, when we opened up the business. Yeah, so about, about about five years ago. Four, okay. Years For her ago, Star yeah. Wars collection. She yeah. One day, she got the bug because I collected. Yeah. And then, I got the bug. And then yeah. she started yes. collecting. So she, yes. she's and a I'm master. a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. So. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, these uh, LJNs, dude, uh, these are just absolutely They have no articulation, fantastic. but to me, they're my favorite Oh, ones. dude, I had them as a kid, dude. Yeah. We used to, like... I had the ring and everything. Big man at your my house. I'll bring my guys. You have yours. I've got junkyard dogs. It's World Wrestling Federation superstars. I've got Brutus Beefcake. <laughs> Here's Tori the Animal Steel. I've got Great Hammer <laughs> Valentine. Ricky the Dragon Steel. Yeah, they're so real. And Rowdy Rock Piper. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Yeah. 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 Wrestling superstars. They're for real. Ain't sold separately from LJN. Yeah. You know, so like we would, we really be like they they they're. It's hard to get find them in good condition. You've got yours are in really great condition. A lot yeah, of times the some paint, of the accessories I don't the have. The paint's some of usually rubbed off yeah. on a lot though because of kids just playing so hard with them. Yeah, you know? yeah. I always try to find good stuff. You know? Oh, you got Corporal Kirshner back there. Yeah, I only have one Corporal Kirshner. They have a bearded, a non-bearded, and uh, a bearded that's not painted. Is that Tito Santana? It is. Okay, yeah. They have a Strike Force version of him where he's in white. I don't have that. Oh, really? Yeah, they have a Rick Martel that's also like that. Actually, um, this Piper, I found him in one of those big boxes that you get like at uh -huh. Thrift Giant. Uh, he was buried in it, but he had his had his uh, kilt Man. as well. I know, that's dude. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, and right to your left, there's a vintage Robin Hood Prince of Thieves figures. I found oh, those yeah. at a thrift store for five bucks each. No. I did, swear to God. Swear to God. Wow. I couldn't believe it. How long ago did you find them? About three years ago. Okay. Do you remember which store? Yes, it was the Vine, Vine Resales, right down the street. Oh, okay. Right down, uh, Here's what I'm going to say about this: the thrift stores in this area. Mm -hmm. They're not too great. You're not going to find stuff all the time, but when you do find stuff, it's dirt it's, cheap. It's epic it's, and it's it dirt cheap. cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and if you go every day, you're going to find... Well, here's the thing. Star Wars is in every thrift store, Goodwill, or Antique Mall. If you collect Star Wars, or Batman, or... You're going to find stuff every time you go out. Right. And if you get it cheap... You can amass a collection very fast. Yeah. <laughs> very fast. That's what a lot of the people on my channel say. A lot of them are like, dude, I wish my area 
had thrift stores the way you guys have them in Dallas, you know, and because because they're like our area, there's like one I store. I've seen your videos and there's a lot of stuff. I'm like, oh, look at that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> the home I was raised in and my parents still live is right next to the thrift stores that you go to. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. when I, I'm like, I'm just going to drive over That's there. why we go over there. Well, that's what I told my wife when I was telling her I was coming over here today. I told her, I said, yeah, I said, what's crazy? I said, this guy lives in like Haltom City. And I'm like, he drove all the way over to Plaza Thrift in Plano that day to look for that Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what are the chances that like I would meet this guy? Because I just happened to be there the same time as him. And he's got like this toy museum, you know, and I was just telling her like, like the chances of that happening. Were so, so I'm really yeah. happy we met. Here's the 3.75 uh, inch scale uh, Star Wars. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that biker scout, dude. Yeah. And I put a Qui-Gon that I found where he's cutting his head off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wow, dude. I just saw her at Thrift Giant recently. Yeah, she's cool. There's a couple of them that are cool. Those are like Forces of Destiny, and they have like their Barbie dolls pretty much. Yeah, I saw that. Wow, dude. And a couple of rows down when you get there, it's a vintage row. Yeah. There's a whole section of vintage. Oh, okay. That row right there is all vintage. <laughs> Wow, this collection is so badass. So that right there is all vintage. Yes. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, look here in the back, too. And the thing that it's sitting on is actually yeah. like a, a, a statue, like the two pieces bookends. Bookend. Oh, is that what that is? The yeah. star? Oh, yeah, I and see where limited, it's split in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's limited to like 300 pieces. No way. On the bottom, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I still remember when I got him for Christmas. The Force is back. The Rebels won't tire till they see the last of the Empire. And Kenner's there with Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. The next prisoner, Gamorrean Guard. Gladly, Jabba the Hutt. C-3PO, Gamorrean Guard, and Jabba the Hutt play set each so separately. Mr. Hutt, you've captured my friend. Free him and keep me instead. That's a sorry tale, but this tale make you sorry. -er. Jabba the Hutt play set and other action figures each so separately from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection from Kenner. I know, right? They still hold up, too. I know that, they, you know, people are like, oh, you know, no, those are... Yeah, I know, like, that's the thing, you know, a lot of people are like, well, it doesn't have any, hardly any articulation, but, like, that's kind of the beauty of it for me, right. you know? Well, over 40 years later, now they're making figures that replicate. I know, right? <laughs> oh, this guy's cool. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, that's Chewbacca from the Shadows of the Empire. Oh. That's the video game comic book line that came, that took place between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi oh, when Han Solo is frozen in carbonite. Oh, okay. You know that, uh, that, yeah, the old oh, wow. vintage game that, uh, the doctor thing where... Operation? Operation. Yes. This place is like Operation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars Operation over there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, you even have a, uh, uh, Force Ghosts. Yeah, yeah, Force Ghosts, yeah. Oh, wow, look at even the Yoda, dude. That is, I've never, I've actually never seen those before. That's yeah. just some, there's some room to put more figures right there. I always try to keep stuff at the front so I can push them pretty easy. He's right. very well organized with putting my, my collection. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. He knows his stuff. <laughs> and I know, like, how kind of painstaking this can be sometimes, because, oh, like, yes. I've put them on shelves like that and then bumped it yeah. <laughs> and they all fell over. Oh, yeah. Well, here, here's the thing. People ask me, do I play with my action figures? I was like, I do it all the time because I display them and displaying them is how I play with them and figuring out how to get them displayed right. So, yeah. So I play with them every day. That's kind of like, uh, for me, it's like action figure photography. So I'll take my action figures, go outside, set up a little the scene, take a picture, and that's how I play with them. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I've, I've heard of people doing that. It's a good thing. Oh, wow. Look at this over here. Is this a micro machine place? Micro machine places. Oh, wow. And then there's a boxed one to your left. And then there's a oh, wow. uh, Millennium Falcon. There's also a micro machine that opens up. Oh, look at this, there. too. Yeah, that's uh, the Tatooine uh, Jabba's uh, Palace. Oh, wow. I got all the little figures in the front. That is cool. <laughs> And here is the Star Wars ships. You got some of the clone era ships. Got some Y-Wings. 
got a TIE bomber there, got a B wing, couple X wings. Uh, there's the Outrider. There's some TIE, uh, TIE fighters, some Jedi star fighters, some uh, A wings. Uh, there's Maul ship, Grievous ship, there's Cat Bane ship, there's Jango Fett, Slave One. Uh, there's some TIE fighters. Up here is some uh, Clone Era ships, Separatist and uh, Republic. Underneath is some vintage ships here. You got Slave One, Millennium Falcon, Cloud Car, uh, Hoth playset, uh, some of the mini rigs. Uh, there's the land speeder. There's the rebel transport. All right, and there's the uh, Millennium Falcon from Solo, a Star Wars story. Some snow speeders. So, okay, so check this out, this Millennium Falcon. So it makes all kinds of sounds. So that's like it. But it does multiple different things. Lights up. Oh, look at that. Can you pop that open? You got a vintage Han in there. Look at that. And it has little headlights at the front too. Oh, it does? Oh yeah, it does. Oh my yeah. god. I love this turntable that you have with it. Down, I can't even see. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of different fight. stuff. <laughs> it's a lazy Susan we put it on, so we spin it around. And you get the see? whole You can do it. Oh my god. Now, where did you find this at? We found this, uh, I think we found this at Facebook Marketplace. Really? We, yeah, and the same thing with this uh, uh, Black Series. Look at the size of that yeah, thing. Yeah, that's why they don't make Black Series vehicles anymore, is because this was like their, their foray into it, and look how big <laughs> look it how is. Look how big it is, right? <laughs> yes. I gotta push a couple of these buttons. other buttons too on the other side oh there is yeah is those the ones she was pushing where yeah, it talks talking. and the piece comes off and it has the uh -huh. cool thing and you can make the dish move around oh it's got each character that was like yeah. there's r2 uh -huh. chewy you've taken your first step into a larger world oh my god i could play with that all yeah. day <laughs> yeah. but real quick let me get a just a little close-up of this. That thing is... And then for a size comparison, we put the three and three-quarter inch. Oh, um, yeah. Look at that's that. That's the Black Series version of it underneath. Yeah. Now, <laughs> did they kind of stop making Black Series because vehicles just, because they're just too, too big? Too big of a footprint. Yeah. yeah. So wow. that's why you'll, they, you'll never get rid of the three and three-quarter inch scale figures because to make the ships, they have to be that small. Right. Now, what about this Yoda? Does he talk? Uh, he does. He just doesn't have his... Uh, um, his, his, his I think he needs oh, his cane. cane. Yeah, his battery okay. has died. To his be battery honest. is. He's the, really the cool though. Away, but um, he does work. He, he's wow. one of the ones that's responsive. You like talk about huh, the dark force and. Whatnot. Oh, you can talk and he'll talk back. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. wow. Interactive. Interactive. Yes. Say like oh. Uh, Darth Vader, he's like, oh, dark side, bad. He's falling to the dark side, and, like he says stuff. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, we got a double bladed mall lightsaber. Wow. By Ray Park. Oh, We've you got him. it signed too. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, we actually met Ray Parks. Yeah. Where did you meet him at? At a conference? Uh, no, we met him at Dallas Vintage Toys. Oh, really? He was there. Like, was he there for the day? Like uh, signing yeah, like stuff? A year and... ago, he was he was up there doing autographs. Wow. And, it was uh, well worth the four hours of standing in line. <laughs> was that how long it took? Yeah. Wow. But then we yeah. met uh, the, the child Boba Fett actor just a couple weeks ago at Trader's Village. He was oh, doing a really? signing of for Rigno. Mm -hmm. No and, kidding. And so we got him signed, but there's, you know, stuff down there. like. Yeah, like you said, everything works. Everything you have works. Oh, you got the uh, original treehouse there. It is, yeah. The Ewok yeah. place there. Oh, the Ewok Village. Yeah. And then um, underneath, those are Funko vinyls. Mm. So they're not Funko Pops. Okay. Right? You know, so something different. Yeah, definitely. I like that Jabba in the back back yeah, there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
And then this right here is a Boba Fett knife that was done up in his colors. Oh, wow. Uh, Look at this thing. We found that at a thrift store. Like, no, did you like, didn't. We did. <laughs> For like four bucks. Dude, it's, like it's you were sick. like the ultimate thrift store. Like <laughs> I thought found. I found cool stuff. You find, man, dude. Cool <laughs> and then I found an A-Track Star Wars soundtrack. Wow. And then all these little joysticks that have preloaded games that you can plug into. A yeah. TV. And a vintage van. Yeah, that, that's cool thing about that van right there is back in the day when that they didn't have so Star cool. Wars toys yet, they would just slap images on and that was one stuff. of those things. Yeah, it was one of those things. So it was a 1977 van. I remember watching a toy history video of someone, and they were yeah. talking about that, how right before the figures came out, they were just mm -hmm. slapping on anything, on anything they, 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 they could get there. pre-made, and, and that yeah. van's one of them. It's wow. like one of the first Star Wars pieces. Uh, you got some potato heads. Potato heads, and then that's the sign by the girl who fall, fell under the ring. Oh, right yeah. There. I always yeah. thought she was sexy. Was, yeah. <laughs> and then there's the Xbox games, the Battlefront 1 and 2, Nice oh, Little wow. Republic. We found this in a thrift store, too, this yeah, uh, yeah. Jeff Gordon Episode 1 Star oh, Wars no way. Uh, car. Wow. And above it, we found that uh, Bluetooth Chewbacca speaker. Oh, that's cool. Store. Yeah, and that's a koozie that has a Chewbacca hand that you put your yeah. Hand, I was just gonna ask. You what put that your hand is. inside that, and yeah. you're supposed to be like Chewbacca. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. That is really. And we neat. found that Nutcracker in a thrift store, and then I bought the Funko Pop. And then look at this. Is this supposed to be like a little snowman? They are yeah. snowman. They came oh, out yeah. during Christmas that's time, and then we found that Nutcracker in a thrift store. So we just. I've seen this in the thrift store that's, quite I a. Bought that in a thrift store, and I got a double of it down there. Oh wow. <laughs> they just, I now, does it originally, is it, is, that, is it a remote control? It is, but okay. if you put batteries in it and you hit the little button, the sabers light up and it looks really oh, neat. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then, wow, so look this at your is, he man. This is uh, the new stuff. This is the Origins, except for the Fright Zone. I put the Savage uh, Funko Savage World uh, oh. Fright figures. So yeah. it's Michael Myers and Pinhead and Leatherface and Jason and Freddy Cougar. Dude, look at this. That's the actual real puppet. It wow. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah, hell and yeah. Underneath is the Funko Pops for the Masters of the Universe. Oh, okay. And then uh, there's a Fright Fighter. I'm just trying to put that together. That's, oh, wow. That's vintage. That's and then cool. I got I didn't a, even I got, know they made that, really. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the, the vehicles. Uh, and then up here is the Mega Constructs figures oh and, yeah i've got the figure so this is a castle that, that comes from mega construct yes. wow I, and i got the wind raider back there and uh the roton i got a couple other vehicles i just haven't put them together yet i haven't had time but there's a uh, that castle yeah that's from the origins that's the new one i got the vintage stuff in this window over here oh, okay here is the new oh. adventures of he-man this is the space he-man from the yeah, future that when came he out went to space. After, yeah, after like the, early nineties, I think, or no, something. No, it was right? late late eighties. Uh, was it late eighties? Yeah, it was late eighties. Okay. Once they did uh, stop doing the vintage line, this came out. Okay. And uh, so uh, it was New Adventures of He-Man. I'll tell you what I love, shows. dude. I love this body pillow. Yes, yes. <laughs> Where'd so, you find that at? Man, I, I I found that at an antique mall, and I, I just started getting big into the sleeping bags i got uh, oh that's a sleeping bag it is a oh i thought it bag. was like a big body pillow no no it's okay a, it's a sleeping bag yeah i should have because they didn't have body pillows back yeah, in the yeah. day <laughs> so it's a big it's a big sleeping bag and there's a couple other sleeping bags but uh if you look back over here there's the vintage uh figures in the the deal can i step back there yeah yeah i'll be real careful wow I try to group them together the snake man with the snake man and the people that you know yeah Oh, that's a different. Uh, that's Moss Man. Moss I just Man. Put, put his that gear. They they had a oh. weapons pack, and I tried to put him with because he is just a redone Beast Man. Beast Man, right? So I tried to make him look like a tag team. Well, I think they made a Beast Man with a yellow collar, right? No, that yellow collar was a weapons pack. So you oh, it was just a weapons pack. Okay. Him. And so uh, the whole deal is, uh, so I made him look like Beast Man, but the new Beast Man, our Moss Man, does have that. Okay. They included it. The new Origins figure does oh, have that. Okay. That's the vintage. What do we have here? It's Castle Grayskull. And it's mine. Not so fast, Beast Man. He Man! You can pit He Man against Beast Man playing for the power of Castle Grayskull. You have to put the castle together. Beast Man's escaping. The throne, Dad. Dad, you saved the castle. <laughs> castle Grayskull from the Masters of the Universe collection. I um, ran into this guy 
uh, a few months ago and he stopped at St. Vincent de Paul in Plano mm -hmm. and he told me, I ran into him in a thrift store, I'm like, and we just got to talk and he's like, yeah, I just found a vintage Castle Grayskull and I found a vintage Snake Mountain with figures at St. Vinnie de Paul. He said I paid $6 for all of it. Oh, wow. Dude, I was like, it felt like I was getting punched in the gut because like that was like my, my thing. I always wanted to find one of these in a thrift store. Well, I went there a couple weeks after he told me that and I found Zor in a bag mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I found the remnants of his haul, <laughs> you know, wow. but like, but he said he found those in a thrift in, in St. Vinnie's. I was like, well, wow. that's the thing I like about St. Vinnie's, dude. They're like a real thrift store mm -hmm. because everything's cheap. Like Thrift Giant and some of these other places like Goodwill, they, they've been jacking their they, prices they up. That's what I like about the thrift stores in this area. The prices are low. Low. If you find stuff, you're gonna find stuff cheap. Yeah. There's the slime pit. There are some uh, uh, the Super Seven uh, figures in there. Like okay. Mordak is a new one. This one right here. No, uh, those are vintage. Oh, back the there. Oh, yeah, yeah I he's, see. He's it. a newer figure, but he's supposed to look like the old vintage uh, cartoon. Yeah. But I put him in there. There's an Eldor and a Hero. You even have a Shira there yeah, too. Shira. That's yeah. cool. Princess of Power. Yeah. Wow, you got a faker. And who's this guy back here on the Rotan? Uh, there is Jitsu back there, and then there's Too Bad, and hey. then Ninjor, and then the guy in the back is, I think that we got uh, Blast Attack. Blast Attack is his yeah. name? Okay. And so he would bust in half. And, oh, and he'd, really? He'd be a robot that worked for- No, uh, is Blast Attack that, that, see, I don't, I don't recognize these. Like this That's guy, right? That's drag store. That's drag store. Okay. Yeah, and then next to him is Mantena. Right. They're all from the Evil Horde. Then got Leech and. Oh, look at here. That's Evil Seed. He's one of those yeah. figures that came from that Super Seven. That's supposed to look like they're from the Vintage line. Okay. And then there's uh, some other stuff there. Love your He-Man lunchbox. Man, isn't that cool? That uh, those cool. figures that are the New Adventures that we were talking about, the ones to your right. Yeah. They reissued those as the Demolition Man figures, the Wesley Snipes, oh, uh, really? Sylvester Stallone uh, figures. So they, they just took the, the they just took the same thing, maybe in different them. paints. Yep. Wow. Yep. That's funny. Who's this guy up here with the blockhead? Is Man, it... that is uh, Artilla. Is Artilla? Name. Yeah. Wow. I like him. Yeah, he's pretty neat. And that guy right there on the, that has his head a little pop, his name is Butthead. Butthead, yes, yeah. I actually have him. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. Those I... are all the Skeletors. Oh, look at this purse. <clears throat> that or, was a or gift satchel. To my wife uh, on our wedding. And, really? Uh, yeah, wow. so somebody knew we were into Masters of the Universe yeah. and they gave us a Kill Star purse. Yeah, in your artwork over here is yeah, really cool. Yeah, those came out of a band box. There's one that's a limited edition, of like a couple hundred pieces. I think and that blue face. Yeah, the blue one. face one. It's and signed. I can see it. somebody named Rocky. Yeah, Rocky Davis. Okay. Oh, you even have the uh, that's the, the inserts promo art. Uh, yeah, wow. or the pamphlets that they used to give out. You don't have this uh, uh, battle bones thing, do you? I don't. That's one of the ones I'm missing. Yeah. I'd like to get my hands on one of those yeah, too. I, the, the only thing and the reason why I haven't pulled the trigger is every one I see has tabs that are broken. And if I'm going to get one, I want, want it. it to be nice. Yeah, yeah nice. I don't blame you, especially something like that. Yeah. So there's Thundercats. Wow. I was a big Thundercats kid when I was young, man. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. They make one. I can't remember his name. It's Tigra, but he's painted all blue. Yeah, uh, there's a uh, uh, Bengali. Bengali, yeah, yeah. He's real expensive. He's, that's why I don't have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a, right? you know, I collect what I can, but then when a figure gets to the point where it's just too crazy, I just, I can't, right. I can't see buying a figure for a few hundred bucks. It's I hear awesome. you on that, man. I love this clock, though. Yeah, I found that at a thrift store. No, nah, yeah. come on, dude. You yeah. are the greatest of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we go, we go a lot. We go to Antique Mall and Flea Markets. We go to Trader's Village a lot. Okay. I've never been to Trader's uh, Village. It's the best. Oh, is it really? It I've is. heard people yeah, talk about it. I've been going yes. there pretty much my whole life. I was raised in the DFW area, and as far back as I can to remember, for cheap? that's where you go. Really? Trader's, Trader's Village. Village? That's where you go. Okay. Yeah. And so these are, if you know what these are, these are the Rock and Sockum uh, Ninja Turtle figures that oh. came out where you you hit the buttons and it would hit, you hit their and chest and their heads would pop out. Yeah. Did their chest pop out too? No, just their heads would pop Okay, out. just their heads. Okay. And then uh, these are the new ones. I just think they display really well. Yeah, they do. I and so the TV trays, too. like I was saying, I'm, I'm big on the TV trays. I think they're just so cool. They're fun, man. 
And then, so this is your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's all vintage in there. Wow. Dude, my subscribers are gonna go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> when they see this, they're gonna be like, holy shit. What a collection. Kind of collectors. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like I said, it's utilizing, this is just a window, right? So I used a window that would be just, nobody would have done anything with a window and I put right. shelves in my window and turned it into a Oh my display. god, look and at luckily, that little we, beetle we have bug. open ceiling, so we have these rafters that we can... Yeah, we're going to start oh, hanging ships yeah. and stuff. Oh, look yeah. The knucklehead is right above you. Oh, and yeah. The parachute figure right here. Oh, look at that. So Where's you're going to hang, start hanging stuff from the... the ships over wow. Here. Yeah. Oh, look up there, too. You got the blimp. And then there's a sleeping bag. Wow. This, um, I didn't even know this Volkswagen, this That's bug. That's Shelltop is the name of that. Shelltop, wow. Yeah. And, uh, is that Sewer other? Play set. Oh, Those what? are the wacky it's action splinter. on the right, wacky action turtles, and the ones on the left is the, uh, storage shells. Okay. And you see these little itty bitty, these are candy, candy, uh. Dispensers? Yes. Oh. Old, like, that nerd's candy. Yeah, I love stuff like that, dude. And is that the sewer playset? It is. Wow. Oh, look at this. Yeah, those are from the uh, old Taco Bell toys, the Burger King toys. So there's that one, and then there's this one. They had all four, and then you had the Leonardo, oh, wow. and then the Michelangelo, the Raphael, and there's the Donatello. I just picked this one up at a yard sale, yeah. like, last weekend. Yeah, they're cool. So that's all that set. So that shredder is in that same set. Ah, okay. Man, th that's back when... Mickey D's and Burger King put good toys. Good toys. Yeah. Yes. Where you would want to collect them. Yes, right? <clears throat> I just love how you have everything displayed, too. Like, it's like just a big color burst. Yeah, and you I know? try to put the lines together. So if you look right here, those are all the talking shell turtles. Oh, okay. And then if you look at those, those are all the toon turtles. And then those are all the sports turtles. Those are all the movie turtles. Uh... You know, there's yeah. all the, the birthday turtles. There's all the military turtles. As you see, he's organized. I try yes, to be. right, right. <laughs> now, what year were you born, Chaz? I was born in '83. '83, okay. Yeah. And then, if you come over here, here is Terminator, Aliens, and Predator. Wow, I found this and him in a thrift store. That's good. Yeah, but it's the only Terminator toys I have, though. I found a lot of those at Treader's Village really? and oh, uh, wow. the Terminator figures and they were like, what did I pay? It was like five figures for like 15 bucks. Yeah. No. Yeah, wow. It was, it was insane. Oh yeah. You got all this alien stuff and Predator. This is a cool one right here. This yeah, red one. It's just thermal uh, Predator. Yeah. It kind of is like if you hit him with a light, does he like yeah. kind of glow a little bit? Like, no. Well, uh, I mean, not the, like in turn. This one glows in the dark. That one glows in the dark. But I'm just like when you if you were to put a light behind, yeah, them, behind them. Yeah. You would be able to see through. Them. OK. Yes, yeah. Translucent. That's what I, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 There's another translucent that's clear right here. Oh, yeah. And so this one is the, uh, the red translucent. Oh, you even have the arcade game here for Sega. Yeah, that's, that's the cool thing. I like putting video games. Like, if you look over back to the Turtles, uh, right next to that uh, mutant module. Oh, uh, there's yeah. There's a Genesis Turtle game and the Tiger. I see that. Yeah, I do that with my VHS. If I find VHS, I'll put it on display with my figures that go along with it or something, you know? And then if you look over here, here's the Star Trek stuff. Oh, wow. That piece that's right in front of you that has the this one right here. This was issued by the U.S. government. Oh. It's a stamp, oh, wow. and it has a t uh, uh, certificate of authenticity, and it's issued. It's signed by Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. Oh wow! And we found that on Facebook Marketplace. See, I didn't know what he had. He had wow. a whole Star Trek lot. I bought that included in a lot for fifty bucks. Wow! And on eBay now, that's like fifteen hundred dollars. No. Yeah. Wow. So we get online. Sweet we, score, dude. Right, we, get, we get online <laughs> and, and we, we type in keywords every day. So I'm looking right. for Star Trek, Star Wars, G.I. Joe. I love Joe. this playset Isn't that here. cool playset? That is. Yeah, that's, that's a neat one. And then you got the Pez dispensers. Yeah. yeah. My friend Keith, and uh, he's a big Star Trek guy. He's tried to get me into Star Trek, and I... 
I truly appreciate the figures and the toys, but as far as the show, I just, here's I'm a Star to, Wars person, you know? I can't get into it. Watch uh, the original movies, these movies right here. If you want to get into Star Trek, okay. watch uh, these movies, the, the original crew. Okay. And watch those, then watch the vintage like series, and you're going to be hooked. Really? You're okay, gonna, all right. Like watching the vintage they're Twilight really Zone. Good. Yeah, they're great. Should try this the first. Con, search a spot. Let me Spock. get these on. Because what happened was, this was uh, Paramount's answer to Star Wars. Oh, they, okay. They, they had uh, properties like, what well, IP can we dust off to compete with this monster that is Star Wars? Well, let's dust off Star Trek and bring it back. Mm. The movies were real big in the 80s. Right. And, and then if you go back and watch the, the series, it's just the perfect amount of camera. Okay. If you look, my, my collection is mainly vintage of the original series stuff and Next Generation because those are the two I like. Gotcha. So, you know, I don't, you don't see too much of the uh, uh, Enterprise or uh, Deep Space Nine or anything like that, which I'm not opposed to getting them. I've seen them, but I'm really into the, uh, the original series. Oh, now, this play set right here, this is vintage, right? You, the cardboard? It or no? was early 90s. Early 90s, uh, okay. That was the Toys R Us uh, uh, Playmates that came with the bridge. Okay. Uh, if you're going to go back to vintage Star Trek toys, which I don't have any, it's the Mego stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha. But there is a uh, oh, look at this. There. This little mini, is this like a... What That's is... the same kind of stuff as the Star Wars Micro Machines. Ah. And so they made uh, the Micro Machine stuff. But as you can see behind there is the NES games. Yes, I saw that. And so it's, Oh, these are cool. Yeah, those are the, the, the play sets that you would get or, you know, the role playing. Uh, and then I wanted to get these over here in the corner. I didn't get these guys yet. I have a bunch of these guys that I got on card recently. I got a good deal off of it, off of a, a toy store in Louisville. Comics, Cards, and Games, I think it's called. I've been there before. Yeah, they gave me a pretty nice hookup on it. Like, I think I got like 15 or 20 figures for like 70 bucks or something like on card. So yeah, so it was pretty good. Right, and then we got this room back here, huh? Yeah, you're gonna have to probably go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I love these awesome. chairs, by the way. <laughs> Look at that, they're like high heels, high heel chairs. That's awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I like the leopard skin. <laughs> Oh wow! So that's our pillow collection over here, but uh, yes. Brave Star on this table. Oh no way! <laughs> These oh were actually, my god, look at this. This Brave Star in 3030 and Fort Carrium were mine when I was a kid. So these were all yours when you were a kid? Well, the, the tex uh the Scuzz, some of the stuff's missing. I'm missing their hats now. But yeah, the only one I didn't uh, have originally was Sandstorm. I just picked him up recently. I found the stagecoach. At I know, Jack. I saw that and yeah. I literally couldn't believe it. I know, I couldn't believe it either. It's not you complete. Yeah, I do. Man, I might have to trade you a, a Robotech uh, 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 Exo Squad. Yeah, we might. That. Yeah, let's. Uh, we can discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> but then over at this window, uh, there's actually a story here. There's a local icon. Uh, his name was Bruce Corbett, uh, and he was in a band called Rigor Mortis, and he was also in War Beast. Okay. It was kind of like one of the big heavy metal groups from the 80s and 90s. He's like one of the forefathers of heavy metal like that we have today. Okay. And so uh, his wife did a memorial show here to raise money for their daughter because uh, he died of cancer recently. Okay. And so uh, he was big into Batman. So we got a whole, I got a chance to buy in a whole bunch of these mystery bags a bunch of his batman figures oh wow and these were it a lot of them are bruce corbett's from rigor mortis and war beast oh, wow. and in one of the bags was his hat here too so i put it on this uh, batman uh hook oh yeah so that was his hat it was his hat and, wow and some of these are his figures and then i've been doing a thing lately too if you look over here i've been hanging batmobiles 
Yeah. Just because at thrift stores, they're cheap, and I just keep finding them, so I'm just I know, right? <laughs> hanging them. I have that big command center. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. I found that at a thrift store for, what was it, seven bucks? Yeah, mine was five at Goodwill. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. <laughs> the size of it. And then I've been buying these uh, Imagine X just because I think they're kind they of They are spiky. cool. I've got some of those myself. Yeah. They're, they're like on my pillow collection. Yeah, she hates that. <laughs> I think they just there. <laughs> but yeah, those are uh, vintage figures from the uh, uh, 89 and on movies. Okay. So there's a lot of the Keaton Batman stuff in there. The Val Kilmer Batman stuff. Yeah, so I just um, found a couple of these guys in a bag at uh, the Plaza Thrift where I met you guys yeah, at. Yeah, um, awesome. And then that Batman right there. Um, I found her at a place in Plano called, just like two days ago, uh, Support Your Troops is what okay. it's called. And it's a thrift store, but like their stuff goes to, you know, s supporting military veterans and stuff like that. But that is a, a great collection. Uh, and then there's a couple of vintage Batman Pez down here that are pretty neat. Oh, yeah. I like them stickers too. Yeah, like I said, you start collecting everything else once you're out and about. <laughs> right. Know, like stuff that you wouldn't like this is a nightlight down here. Like that's oh, a nightlight. Oh really? And that's a button pen, like a big it, it's like a gigantic pen. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Got the little watch. Yeah. And then uh I like that mad magazine too. Isn't that neat? There's a couple of them. There's one there, oh, yeah, one there, one on the there. side over there. And yeah. they're for different movies, like that one's from uh the Batman and Robin, because that's George Clooney, and then this one is from uh, the Jim Carrey Batman Forever. Okay. And then I think this one is also uh, Batman Forever. And the puzzle, that's a vintage puzzle. It is. Yeah. And then I found, this is just came with the Little Caesars, Little Caesars. and I was just like, they had a Batman yeah. shaped pizza, and I was like, that's going to display really well. Yeah, that does display well. I like the Wonder Woman too. Yeah, and then that's kind of the wise collection as well. So she got Wonder Woman yes. stuff. And we found this oh, wow. Wonder Woman vinyl record right there, book and record set. Oh, oh right here. Yeah. Oh, whoa. We found that for like 99 cents. Man. <laughs> like, that like is said, epic. We, most of this Wonder Woman stuff was all found in thrift stores. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That is so cool. And we got the G.I. Joe stuff over here. Oh, yeah. I, I had a bunch of G.I. Joes when I was little, but a lot of them got put in my parents' attic and all the O-rings busted. Oh, so yeah. I ended up just getting rid of them all, and now I'm re-putting together my collection. It's funny. I, um, so I was at a, an estate sale last summer, and they had a bunch of uh, vintage G.I. Joes, but they were broken. Their O-rings were all broken, and I passed on them. And uh, one of the guys on my channel, he was like, oh, bro, he's like, they only need O-rings. He goes, and they're pretty easy to fix. He goes, that's how I've amassed my whole G.I. Joe collection. I buy the broken ones because people think they're not worth anything, so they price them lower. He goes, it's just a simple O-ring. Just take the back screw off, put the O-ring in, and you got a brand new G.I. Joe. And I was like, oh, man, I should have bought those, you know? I know. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at now, and I told my wife, I was like, man, I kick myself all the time because oh, I had yes. some really high-end high -end. G.I. Joe yeah. stuff. Yeah. This Cobra Commander, I've never seen him before. Yeah, he's cool. And then behind him, he's a re there's a repaint of him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And then uh, uh, the Crimson Twins. Those are all Cobra Commanders there. So that's Cobra Commander. Oh, that's yeah. Cobra I've Commander. never seen that's that Cobra one before Commander. either. And you've got some unique ones there. Yeah, and then there's uh, the Mindbender figures in the boat. This is the Manta Ray, I yeah, think, right? the Moray. Right? The Moray. That's right. Moray uh, Hydrofoil. Hydro. Thank you. Yes. And there's uh, the Despoiler and the Demon, that's Destro stuff. Those are all Destro figures there. Oh, cool. And then, uh, we gotta go. It's nice meeting you, Danielle. Nice yeah, let's shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing me your collection. And then, so we've got the uh, Thunder Machine and a bunch of the, uh, uh, the Dreadnoughts and most of the Dreadnoughts. Yeah. And then you got some Hulks over here. Yeah, Hulk collection. I'm at Lou Ferrigno, so that's a side of Lou Ferrigno back there. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And so uh, there's some Toy Biz stuff in there and then some cards, insert cards. I see this guy in thrift stores all the time. Yeah, I, I've been half tempted to buy him. <laughs> he has the remote. So I've been oh, he does. Oh, cool. Underneath. I have it sitting on 
the remote. Oh yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. And oh, that's actually, cool. He wore, I've never so, seen him with the remote. Yeah, it's just. I like this Pez dispenser back here. Too. Yeah, that's that's actually not a Pez. That's a Smarty oh. dispenser. Oh, it's a Smarty dispenser. It okay. Smarties. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Right, I know. <laughs> I'm just I, kidding. I got the same thing because the head doesn't pop out. You like push this little thing, right. and it shoots it out like the pizza thrower. You know? Oh, that's awesome. But yeah. I oh wow, a, look at these guys. Those are all Spider Mans and Spider Man villains with the insert cards and stuff, and it's Toy Biz. Primarily. I got it guy on my channel his name is connor he's a big spider-man fan he's gonna like freak when he sees this oh look at this one that yeah, is cool that's dude. when he ended up mutating for a little bit and got six arms wow and you got the venom in there you got a rhino in the back i like this candy dispenser yeah isn't that neat and so there's a Pez dispenser and then a Smarty dispenser and then the oh, Smarty okay. dispenser in the package. Oh, back there. Okay. And then there's a Fantastic Four uh, toy biz. I saved a space for eventually over here to the left. I'm going to put the Galactus when I finally get in. I like how, like, you have you have goals that are ready to manifest. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I'm leaving that open because I'm getting this. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then eventually I'm gonna get a couple carded figures to put behind the Iron Man's. And that, okay, to kind of fill that space yeah. in the back. And then above that's where all the Ghost Rider figures are gonna go. Cause he had his oh, whole line wow. of Ghost Rider figures and I only have half of them. So the other half will fill up the rest. Oh, this uh, Green Goblin is cool. I like yeah, the card in the back too. Yeah, that's from uh, Marvel Universe Series 1. Yeah, that is super cool. And if you look over here, there's the Robo Oh Ghost yeah. Series. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Megan, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ah, ghosts. They've got exoplasm. We've been gooed. Now what? Stay puff Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. <laughs> we ain't afraid of them. Ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Oh, look at this up here. Like I said, some of the vehicles and stuff that uh. I played with when I was little, some of them might be missing some stuff. So this vehicle here, so that's what it looks like. I found it in a thrift store, but like I did not, it didn't, it wasn't complete. It was missing all the pieces. So that's really neat to see it completed. Yeah, it's, it's got, got the windshield. Yeah, the yeah. supercharger. I always thought the ghosts were like the They're best blessed. part of this line, you they know? They really are. They really are. And there's so much Ghostbuster stuff. So I put it on that shelf because eventually I'm going to, you know, fill up the bottom two shelves. This ghost trap. Uh -huh. I was at Goodwill in Irving. It's the one. It's the one toy that just makes me sick every time I think about it. There was a little pack of uh, metal nano Marvel figures right next to it. I got mm -hmm. so focused on that pack of Marvel nanos that I didn't even see this. And then my subscribers were like, and when they when I uploaded the video, they were like. There was a vintage ghost trap right next to that. <laughs> and I went back and looked and then I it was like a week later I drove all the way back there just to see if maybe it was still there and it was gone. Yeah. But I was like, "Oh, it was the one that got away, you know." <laughs> and that piece right next to the ghost trap, that you put little slides and you be able to project ghosts. Oh, this right here. Oh, super cool. And then the one above it is a little it would shoot little styrofoam projectiles. Oh, okay. And you yeah. And you got a little PKE meter back yeah, here as well. Yeah, little dog ears. On okay. Because that was mine when I was a kid. And the proton so pack. Mine. And they just some of them held up. That's all my Elvis stuff. Yeah, my mother-in-law likes Elvis. She is an Elvis fan. I've found a few of these figures, and have given them to her. You know, she's got a little. She has a little toy table in her apartment. <laughs> wow, dude. Oh, I like this mouse, too. <laughs> oh, you're going to see the X-Men room in a second. Cool. Let me get this. This is all of Danielle's oh, pillows. Okay. <laughs> Her pillow Actually, collection. There's a couple cool ones. That uh, Empire Strikes Back pillow, 
This one right here. Oh yeah. yeah. That's from 1982. Wow. If you look at the date on it. There's a date on it somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I can tell it's old. It's a vintage one. Wow. There, there it is to the left. Oh yeah, right. 1979. Yes. Wow. And we have another couple of Pelo, vintage pillows. So. Yeah. Oh, here's some more. Yep. And then there's some Star Wars plush on that, but we got some more plush coming up. Check out the Elvis and his pelvis. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, dude, I love this. Isn't that neat? That's actually a new piece. It's just it was made to look old. No, uh. Yeah, it's supposed to look like one of those. It even says new right on. <laughs> that Dude, that looks like it's like super old. I know, I know. It, they, the nostalgic look where it looks weathered and stuff. Right. Really in, but that's a, that's a new piece. But it looks cool. You're right. It does look cool. But going back to where you would collect everything else. So once you already have the figures, you start collecting suitcases. And you start collecting <laughs> backpacks. And right. You start collecting Angry Bird guns and, uh, you know, the little pop things and the Valentine's Day things. And yeah. The thing from Disneyland. Oh, that is cool. That, you know, makes noise and the shampoo bottles and... So much a, merchandising. There's a... Uh, uh, you hit this on and you talk. It's a karaoke machine, but it makes you sound like Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. Oh. Yeah. And so there's a lot of cool pages, I, like lunch boxes. I considered buying some of these just because for display purposes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they're... I just love the look at they're them. They're so neat. I found the, those at uh, uh, Ollie's. Ollie's. Yeah, that's and, where I saw them these, too. And these, like, you're supposed to... Like, they're science projects so you can make like hoth and different place like parts of that yeah they got kites and uh onesies and they got some x-men stuff over here yeah because we're about to get to the x-men room so I put x-men on one wall and then star wars on the other but if you look down there's also rugs oh wow oh look at that death star rug isn't that neat I'm just going to take a little walk down the hallway here at these rugs. This is cool, man. Oh, that's so awesome. We start getting into the bowling pins. There's a chest set up there. Oh, uh, yeah. The Slurpee cups. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember those. Here's all the Taco Bell cups. And... Is that what those are from, Taco yeah. Bell? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I found him at Goodwill and I found him but I was like what do these go to Taco Bell all yeah. right and then <laughs> Poor. oh and then I like that little here's... Jedi Academy book yeah like I said you start getting all the weird little things like here's right. the Build-A-Bears here's the Build-A-Bears oh yeah shooting hoops with Grogu yeah <laughs> Yeah, there's another. Oh, I like this Ewok. Man, he is soft. Isn't that cool? And then there's one of those little uh, vintage pinball things. Uh, yeah. There's mm -hmm. a couple dark orcs. Oh, okay. Super cool. Frisbee. Let's get over here real quick. The cool thing on these. Oh yeah, I just if, saw this at Goodwill actually. Right? If you, if you open it up, it has Sith and Jedi on both sides, so you could take them out. One ah. side says Jedi, and the other side says Sith. Ah, okay. Yeah, they, sometimes they don't stay. I don't know. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> yeah, right. It, cool. it does look cool. And then, uh, so you got the X Men stuff on this wall, and there's some Genesis uh, ad stuff and some old vintage. Dude, posters. like you truly do have a museum here. Oh, thank you so much. Look at that. Wow. Now above you, that's a vintage poster. From the early 90s. This one right here? Yeah, there's a bunch, a couple of Let's get a little posters. wide angle on that. There we go. Uh, this one right here was a promo poster for Wolverine number one back in the day, 88. And then. Uh, Which one was that? Oh, this one right here. So this was a comic store promo poster. Oh, wow. And then this is a vintage uh, 90, early 90s poster. Had that since I was a kid. And then the you know some pops up here. I like this bendum. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I just thought that was so neat. Awesome. And then we're gonna go into the quote unquote game room is what we call it. Okay. But it's uh, lead the way. 
got hey. a bunch of X-Men stuff. Wow. More video games. Statues, busts. Check out all those Wolverines. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool one, dude. That statue. Yeah. yeah. That is dope. That's, a, that's actually the cool thing about these two. Is if you look, the the legs are the exact same. It's the same artist that did both these busts, but they did two different outfits, two ah, different editions. Okay. So, uh, one's going through snow. One's going through a silicone. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's cool. Got some plushy in there. And then you got the trading cards, more statues. And then the toy biz uh, X Men stuff is over here. Okay. Man, you got a ton of trading cards there. Yeah, those are complete sets. So wow. Uh, all the Marvel masterpieces, all the Marvel universes, all the Flare Ultras and X Men series one and two. Okay. Uh, some other ones. Uh, this is the chess set from the X Men movie. Oh wow. So, like the whole table and everything. No, just the or just oh, I see. Magneto, I thought I thought it was all built in. <laughs> yeah, Magneto and Charles Xavier played that chess set when he was in prison. Okay. Because you know Magneto couldn't have anything. That's you know. right. So that's why that's in there. That's cool. Wow, that's look at all the toys. X Men. I never understood why the toy, like the toy biz figures, like you can still buy them pretty cheap, mm -hmm. but they're like so freaking awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, that's another line. Like if you want to get into collecting vintage toys, you can oh, go absolutely. with toy biz, but it's kind of like, I almost feel like toy biz is just undervalued. You know? I don't think they will be too much longer Yeah, because I, I have a feeling that, uh, once everybody, cause you know, they said the same thing about you know the old Migos, and now they're really sought after. Right. You know, all these other types of figures that they made, mass produced. Most of them got destroyed, or they just they're just hard to find in good condition. Oh, look at this! You got that in box. Yeah, and then Whoa. those are uh, little guys are Dorbs. Oh yeah, I've seen these guys. Oh, you got the vehicles over here. That poster is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And then if you look over here to your right, those are all X Men books still on this table. So all the oh, these are all books. comic books. Yeah, all the comic books. Wow. Stuff on the top's newer stuff, but if you go wow. all the 60s. Dude, you could open your own store. <laughs> wow, dude. And then that Xbox is right there, the blue one. Yeah. It's a modded Xbox. It's got a 10 terabyte hard drive and it has every emulator from the Atari to the first generation Xbox. So it's got 60,000 retro games. Holy shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So that's why we call it the game room. Wow. Yeah, you can play virtually play any yeah, game you game want. <laughs> That's why I stopped collecting retro video games. It's just like why I, I have them all. Right. I have a a client of mine. He's a chiropractor in Edison, New Jersey, and uh, he recently uh, redid one of his rooms, made it into a game room. But he's got like some of the the arcade, you know, the big arcade games in there. But same thing. He was like, this arcade game has over three thousand games built into it. And he's just like, I can, you know, we can pull up any game, any Atari, any Nintendo, whatever. You know, I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And then I got the, the VCR uh, DVD combo so you can yeah. watch it. Yeah. Everything. That's the one thing I've really gotten into over the last year is the VHS and VCO. You know, I just, so cool. I have a little retro TV, 13 inch, but man, I, I freaking love it. It's in my office. That's so I put a little That's movie in there and work and kind of want people, people are probably like, how can you work and watch a movie at the same time? <laughs> it, I can do it. I promise. <laughs> well, that's the collection. Wow, dude. Thank you so much, man. I am just absolutely blown away by all of this. Oh, man! Chaz and Danielle, I cannot thank you enough for inviting me 
over to uh, film your collection. That was such a treat for me. I am like still on a jazz high from all the cool stuff that you guys have. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.